Hello my good friends. Once again we we shall deliberate on the topic tonight. Scorp epidemic of scorpions and bed bugs in America. Scorpions and bed bugs in America. Scorpion and bed bugs go pandemic. Listen to Revelation chapter 9, reading from verse 1. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And, uh, and the sun and the air were, were darkened by reason of the smoke of the, of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locust upon the earth, locust upon the earth. And to them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth. They should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, so no tree, no leaves. <laughs> neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. So we see, friend, that there's a time coming. Only men shall feel the consequences of sin. Only those who have not the seal of God in their forehead. It's incumbent upon every one of us to find out how to get sealed of God and not to receive the mark of the beast. And to them it was given that they should not kill them. You know when trouble takes people these days, one of the things they contemplate is suicide. To end it, to get away from the misery. Whether it's depression or some mental anguish or pain or, or fear of judgment or punishment from the courts when they kill somebody or something like that. Then the, many people, when they kill their family, kill their powers, the next thing they do is kill themselves. But listen what goes on here. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. <coughs> five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. You ever been hit by a scorpion yet? Hmm. Now many of our lady friends especially, they get very scared of tiny bugs. Whether it be a roach or what we call a teenager roach or a little, uh, any little insect, mosquito, a bed bug. In America now people are so scared of bed bugs and they call it termina exterminators in to get rid of these bed bugs. But this, no exterminator will be able to help your friend. And in those days shall men seek death. This is the crux of the matter. Men shall seek death and shall not find it. You won't be able to commit suicide. No hanging. No, no, no self-inflicted gun, gunshot wound shall help you. And shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. Even death is a blessing many times, you know, friend. In this sinful world. Even death is a blessing. Because sometimes, even in my profession as a registered nurse, I, I pray for people to die when I see the suffering sometimes. I see so much agony with people suffering from terminal illnesses. Young people, old people, who are in so much pain that no matter how much morphine they give them, they are still in pain. You can see it on their face. They can't do nothing for themselves. They are, tor tor they're, they're in torture. And they want to die. People beg to die. Okay. And the share, shapes of this locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. And, and and their heads were as it were crowns like gold. And their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women. And their teeth were as the teeth of lions. You ever look at a lion teeth here? And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions. Have mercy. And there were stings in their tails. Revelation chapter 9 verse 10. And there were stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt men five months. You don't want, you don't want to be on the receiving end of this. Friend. Listen, you got to make sure it is paramount, tantamount, that while you're alive, you make right with God. <coughs> Go to God in prayer 
and fasting and asking for overcoming power no matter what your situation is i don't care what your situation is there's power in the blood of jesus to heal you <coughs> beg your pardon from your malady whether you are a drug addict strung out and heroin crack cocaine marijuana <coughs> sorry friends benzos whatever you're strung out on you must believe for hebrews chapter chapter 11 tells you that now without faith it is impossible to please god for those that come to him must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him jesus is mighty to save it's not about what i tell you or what your pastor tell you it's what the word of god says and there's the holy spirit when you pray to god who will answer your prayers if you're sincere and really desire change it doesn't matter if you're a prostitute or a thief or a homosexual or a lesbian adulterer fornicator murderer jesus died for you the wickedest person who ever lived jesus is ready to pardon him because he said he that cometh unto me i will in no wise cast out he said he came to call the, he did not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance let's continue and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, that Satan, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue has his name Apollon. And, and wo one woe is passed, and behold, there come two more woes hereafter. And the sixth seal ended, and the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day, and a month and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand, and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them having breastplate of fire and of jacinth and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were at the heads of lions, and out of their mouth issued fire and smoke and brimstone. This is a part of the dreaded, the dreaded friend, uh, wrath of God upon the unsaved. And by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which out issued out of their mouth. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads with them they do hurt. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Have mercy. Friend, make right with God now, because you have no idea what is coming up on the land so we need to make it right and be covered under the blood of jesus remember the the angel said in revelation chapter 14 and i saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven having the everlasting gospel to preach on them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people saying with a loud voice Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountain of water. Revelation 14, verse 6 and 7. This reminds us, friend, of the fourth commandment. It is the only commandment which tells us in Revelation, in Exodus chapter 20, verse 8 to 11, where it says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Right? Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is in thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested on the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. That's the seal of the living God, his holy Sabbath day. Amen, friend. Amen and amen. God bless you. Be covered under the